Hey there, this is a quick video describing how to make and save a custom report in QuickBooks um, to organize your case cost by client and have that report readily, readily available. Um, so I'll kind of walk through how we do that. In my example here, my advanced case cost account is on the balance sheet. This report works just fine if yours is an expense account. Um, so you can see my, my account's advanced case cost is another current asset on the balance sheet. Um, so knowing that, I'm going to start in reports under standard and go to my balance sheet because this is where that account lives. If you are using an expense account, then you'll do this, follow my same steps, but you'll start with a profit and loss um, report. So anyways, back to the balance sheet. I am just going to go ahead and scroll and find my advanced case cost line item on this balance sheet. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on that dollar amount. It's just kind of a quick way to get to a transaction report on this specific account. Um, I am going to change the dates to all dates. This is kind of a nice um, best practice anytime you're saving a report in accounting to think about. Anytime you have a transaction report on a general ledger account, if you group that, or if you set those that report period to all dates, that report total will always agree to your trial balance or your balance sheet, or the current ba the balance of that account because it's taking it into account every transaction of all time. So when we save our report, it's nice to save it anchored in all dates for that very reason. So we know this agrees to our financials and we're looking at a complete list of data. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group this account by client. Yours might say customer, same idea, just a preference in the settings there. When I do that, I can see all my case cost activity organized really nicely by my customer list, AKA my file line projects. Um, but wait, there's more. I'm going to do a couple more things here. Um, I work on a laptop screen, so you can see that that report's a little bit clunky for me. So I'm going to change the columns. This is, of course, totally optional. I get rid of balance, split an account. I just don't find those all that useful. Um, one thing you might consider adding is you can add, or add CLR. That'll show the cleared status of checks. Um, I'm not going to add that to mine because I do not issue checks out of this QuickBooks account because it's a fake one but it's an optional an option there and i'll go ahead and click run report and you can see this report fits a little bit nicer on on my screen a little less overwhelming um, before i do anything else i'm going to save the customization i'm going to call this my advanced case costs oops which is the name of my general ledger account and then i'm going to add by client so i know oops i can spell today i'm going to add by client so i know that this report is is on my advanced case cost general ledger account and it's organized by each of my clients or each of my cases. Okay. So the wording is really useful. You want to be able to look back and understand what your what report you're pulling based on a nice title there. Another nice option here is some, not everyone in your team needs to recreate the same report. You can just go ahead and share with everybody. It usually doesn't hurt that people have this. Um, then you're all working off the same the same report, which can be handy. And um, you'll click save. And when you do, anytime you navigate back into reports and you go to custom reports, you're gonna see advanced case cost by client or whatever you named it, always in your custom report list. So it'll be there for you. Oh, one other thing, um, for larger firms, this can get pretty cumbersome because even as cases clear out, it's gonna show zero dollars, but these historical transactions will still show on this report. Um, one thing you can do if, if you're just trying to look into a specific case um, you can always come in here and filter on client or customer and just go ahead and find that file line project, that open case that you want to look at. And when you isolate that, now you just have an expense sheet or a cost sheet specific to that case, um, right there in QuickBooks. You can always remove that filter right there. Um, awesome. Hope that's helpful.